What's going on? How are you, LA? This is Danny K. Dan, and we are at KCON right now. Okay, so the first question is, which songs do you like best performing? The songs that I like best performing, I've got three songs that I usually go to because they, uh, they're high energy and they get the crowd pumped. So there's this one song called Stuntman that I usually do. It was the first single from the album. I usually do Is There Anybody Out There? Uh, it's a uh, story about identity and self and uh, it's a really inspirational song. And then I usually end on this song called Till, which is just really high energy, like fun song to do. Okay, and which song do you like best from your first solo album, Stuntman? Uh, the song that I like best, yeah. uh, I like all of them. It's, they're like my, they're like having babies. You're like, which baby do you like the most? <laughs> right. um, I like. I would say that the song that like probably means the most to me is probably "Is There Anybody Out There," mainly because it's a song that I put out in coordination with the uh, documentary, and uh, it's definitely like meant a lot to me to be able to attach that song to the doc. If you could collaborate with another artist, who would that be? If I could collaborate with another artist, I was saying earlier, there's this artist named Yuna, super dope, um, uh, Southeast Asian artist, uh, amazing R&B slash like new school kind of like like trippy. Uh, and, you said, very good. and you said she performs in America? She does, yeah. She's done like a, a ton of like free shows uh, recently in LA. So okay. she performs in America. She lives in downtown LA. Well, what about Korean artists? Korean artists I can perform with, uh, collaborate with? Uh, I really like... There's this Korean independent like hip hop scene. So I recently did the Asian Music Festival in LA and Seattle, and I got to meet uh, Benzino and uh, oh, Punky. Right. And like I just I have a lot of respect because one, they do dope music, which I'm and like really like underground like more independent hip hop, but like they're well known on the grander scale. Like their shows sold out in multiple locations. So. Have you always wanted to be in the music industry? Uh, I, I think that when you're younger, you just always have this like need to like want to like be a part of something bigger than yourself. Right. And uh, for me, music's always been an outlet to be able to express myself. And I think that, um, yeah, you, like, as a young kid, like, a lot of it just, like, you're, it's very glamorized. And, um, and so you, you want to be a part of it for the glamour, but then when you get into it, you realize that there's other reasons to stay a part of it. Being able to express myself, meeting other really amazing, inspirational people within the scene. And so, um, yeah, no, it's always been kind of a part of my story. And you recently found out that you had a twin brother. Yeah. Could you explain your first meeting? Like, was it awkward? Um... Yeah, it was kind of awkward. Uh, <laughs> and the biggest thing is we couldn't, like, communicate at all. Right. Like, th there's a big language uh, barrier. So because of the language barrier, it makes it a little more difficult to talk. But ultimately, like, there's a lot of things we have in common. And uh, you learn a lot about, like, nonverbal cues. Right. And, uh, like, such as you both rap. Yeah. But do you guys have similar rap style? No, we don't actually. I think that has a lot to do with like me growing up in the United States and the musical influences around me, and him growing up in Korea and like having the musical influences that we had out there. Uh, is there like a huge difference? Like, what would you say your style is? What would you say his? He's style? a lot more laid back. I'm a lot more like bam, bam, bam. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lot more like Eminem, like uh, LT uh, very, rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like very, very like. Not, not speed rapping, but like really intense. And he's way more like laid back, like okay. smooth. Yeah. Um, when you first met your biological family, what was that like? Awkward as... Still awkward, couldn't communicate, but... Um, still it, now? It was nice, like it's, it's shocking. Like even now, is it still kind of awkward? No, it's not that awkward anymore, but it's still a shocking. Cool. Thank you so much. You guys can check me out, Dan, aka Dan, on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube, Dan, aka Dan TV. Thank you, Hallelujah, LA. I uh, appreciate your support. Thank you, guys.